Here we go again. Here we go again. Day two. How are you? Reminder really quick before we officially start that I am live streaming this on my two, inst two main Instagram accounts, Healing Twin Flames and Empowerment Experiences, as well as on my TikTok at Healing Twin Flames. Hello, hello, hello. And then of course, for longevity purposes and well, repurposing purposes and to make the most of exactly all of this, this divinely guided series and, and um, collection of self-love empowerment support is, is able to reach as many lives as it can. So that is being recorded. And so I will spend the majority of my time probably looking at that camera, but by all means, I will be saying hi on Instagram and TikTok. Oh my goodness. For those who are new around here, my name is Rochelle Richard and I am the creator of Empowerment Experiences. Well, that which is the movement, the, the uh, brainchild, shall we say. And it's a result of my own life of empowerment experiences, meaning we get to choose. We get to choose whether it's a collection of empowerment experiences or be in a victim mindset and see it as disempowerment experiences. So it's up to each and every one of us to make the decision how we view it. All right. So wanted to start off with that. Hello, goddesses on Instagram. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Cheers. Let's have a sip before we dive into today's topic or energy or theme, whatever you want to call it, but that's what we're doing. We got a day two topic to do. Cheers. Mm. Love my honey and my tea. Let me tell you. So if you all may remember yesterday, if you saw the video, if you caught the video, you definitely, if you did not, you definitely want to because it was good. Yesterday, we start off the very series, this ongoing series of me live streaming slash recording these for the next almost 12 weeks of almost every day of live streaming, recording videos, touching on all sorts of topics and themes in all ways for us to look for, find, and yes, reclaim our power throughout all the facets of our lives. And to stop spending so much time and hemorrhaging so much energy of ours feeding into other things out, outside of ourselves, that now we actually are really recognizing where our power is and that's inside, that's inside, inside of us, okay? So with that, to lead the battle here, I have made a commitment, because that's day one. Day one, we're making a commitment, right? This is day two. Day two, I'll tell you what day two is in just a momentito, because it definitely supports day one, of course. Commitment. It starts with making a commitment to yourself to make the changes, to align yourself with the life that you want to be living, the outcome that you want to be experiencing. It is up to you. And I, I know, I know what it is. And I, I talk about this, right? I share these things. I know what it is to get caught up in cycles and patterns of sabotage where you are constantly breaking commitments to yourself. You're not sticking to these agreements, these promises that you make to make these changes, to step into the life that you want. You keep asking for and begging and pleading for this life, but you don't let it happen. And I say that speaking to myself too. You have to, you are the only one, so you have to be the one to step into this new version of you, of who you are when you are embodied in the vision that you keep asking for. That's what it comes down to. It's not just manifestation. It is what it is. And I used to hate that phrase because it was used by people who well, nefariously, let's just say that just nefariously, I digress. All right. Hocus pocus focus here. So we start with making the commitment 
and we make the commitment to ourselves. Finally, a commitment to allow ourselves to have the lives we're asking for, to have the income, the experiences, the relationships, whatever it is that you desire to be living and experiencing for yourself, you, you have to be the one to let yourself. You have to be the one to let yourself. And, and again, I say this because I know what it is like to not, to not let myself. Okay, okay, who's with me? Who's, who's been that in there? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. That's what this whole series is about, is reclaiming power. So we're starting it out with making the commitment. So what commitments? You've got to watch yesterday's video. What commitments are you making to yourself so that you finally start letting yourself live the life that you want to be living. And I know mine is definitely showing up and stepping, not stepping into, but calling forth again, you've got to watch yesterday's video, calling forth that old version or those old versions of myself that I was in a good place, a good headspace. I was had momentum and things were going and growing and I was feeling great. And I felt like I was, I'm the king of the world kind of energy, right? And I know you all have that version of yourself. Again, watch yesterday's video. It's linked in, it's in my YouTube. It's on my YouTube right now, Empowerment Experiences. And it's, it's commitment. It's the, now the very top playlist and everything on my channel too. But you have a version of self that you were at one point in time and you feel like you've lost her. No, you didn't. Just like the part of you that doesn't believe you're good enough, that doesn't believe you're capable, that's not sure your dreams can happen, these changes can happen, that part of you that's broken all these commitments to yourself, so too is there a version of you that kept commitments that you made to yourself, that allowed yourself to have that wonderful vacation, that trip, that journey, that relationship, that job, that career, that whatever it was, you let yourself have it and you were so fulfilled. You were so filled up. That's what fulfilled is. You were filled up, right? You let yourself have it. You were, you were on cloud nine. You were empowered in your life. She's still in there too. And all you got to do is call her forth and integrate her into you now. So that you can say, no, this is who I am today. This is who I am today. Every day, reaffirming that commitment to yourself, meaning to stay, and here's our word and topic of the day, consistent. It's consistency. To cultivate consistency by reaffirming that commitment or those commitments that you have made to yourself to let yourself live the life that you want to fucking live. That the only one who stops you, and I say this for me too, the only one who stops you is you. It's all, it's all you, boo. It's all you. All. You. Okay? It's all you. And that's, that's how... <laughs> what it is like you you can watch it happen in your life you watch it happen let yourself see be an observer of how you behave in your life and it's like oh now listen I have to sidebar for a moment because for all my goddesses that are you know in my age bracket which gratefully I definitely am blessed that I get told I look younger than I am thank you but I am 45, so I am in that age of the good old perimenopause and I have noticed that the PMS thing Oh, it's 10 times worse, meaning my emotional state, my drama, dr again, making observations here going, whoo, it's bumpy. Like I thought it was bumpy before, but it's bumpier now. And that again, that's just one of those things in life that's only so much in my control, right? I only have so much power over it. So where instead then is my power? to focus on the changes and the consistency that I can be creating for myself in my life. That in spite of this condition or this state that may be happening that I'm telling you, listen, according to that, <laughs> that me, we're talking beginning of last week, it was the end of the fucking world and there was no point to anything, I'm telling you. Like it is off the deep end with this. And I'm, I have a bestie that we talk to every morning and, and I'm like, oh my God, I figured it out. 
But now that I'm aware of that, it's like, okay, I see you. But I'm choosing to, again, reaffirm my commitment to myself that in spite of whatever state I'm in, whatever my hormones are doing, whatever the outside world is even doing, of course, especially the outside world is doing, that I am staying as present and as conscious and as intentional. And we're going to talk about all these words, all these topics, all throughout these coming days and weeks. All right. But it's important to be staying present and aware and conscious of what is happening with you. And this is why cultivating that relationship with yourself is just vital. And if that is the commitment that you make to yourself to be cultivating that relationship with yourself, to be really getting to know you and understand you and why you are the way you are, why you do what you do. And maybe if it's something that you need to commit to changing because it's not creating the results that you want, then you can do that because you know you, boo, you know you. You know you. But you got to know you to know you. And so again, I share so much of me and my story. And again, those who are new around here, you you're not quite familiar with that, but I do. I do. And for the, you know, I, these days with censorship <laughs> off the charts, I, I sometimes hesitate to even s tell my story because I might get censored for s telling my own story. Like it's one of those stories. Okay. It's one of those that I could get censored for. Anyway, I digress. So consistency, our word of the day, when you make a commitment to yourself, you've got to include as a commitment to remain consistent, meaning to show up for yourself. Literally, you got to show up to glow up and blow up. <laughs> That's what came to me when I was like, all right, consistency. What are we, what am I going to say? What are we going to talk about? But consistency is, is, is reliability, a reliability or uniformity of successive results or events. And that is why for those who, especially those, I always feel like this is like really turning in today. It's really wonky today. But for those who caught me yesterday and or have watched yesterday's video on YouTube and are watching today's, you may think that I recorded it all on the same day, yesterday and today's, because I purposely wore the same outfit, wore the same shirt, the same jewelry on purpose, just to kind of drive home what it looks like visually, what consistency looks like visually. It's literally reliably showing up. It's like, like that uniform, you reliably show up in this space every day or on a regular occurring frequency, a schedule right? Some kind of regular occurrence. So today's, again, number one consistency is I'm wearing my same worthy abundant bitch gear. You better believe it because I am a worthy abundant bitch. Okay. Don't let nobody mistake you, me, nor nah, none of us as any weak ass bitches because that's not what we are. Okay. This is what an empowered goddess is like. Like, oh, I own my bitch. <gasps> I own her because I am her kind of thing, right? Nobody gets to tell you who you are, right? So again, consistency. Then the other aspect of consistency is showing up today, day two. I was here yesterday and I'm here today and again, have made the commitment to show up consistently. Now, this is what consistency. All right. So here's another example. This is what consistency looks like on a piece of paper when you have a live stream to my dream kind of plan that you're working on. Right. Hello, Emmett. And so this is now consistency doesn't necessarily mean every single day. Consistency, again, is just a regular occurring process or action that you do in order to achieve a certain result. So you have to keep doing 
things consistently, like the biggest, best, most in our faces examples is going to the gym. You want to get, oh, look at, look at them guns. Look at that. You want to get ripped. You, it doesn't happen over, I love this quote, results happen over time, not overnight, right? Results happen over time, not overnight. So again, you can't just go to the gym one day and go, yeah, look them guns. And you've never been to the gym a day before that in your life. Probably not. And you don't work the farm or you're not naturally in a, in a, in a position where you are building muscle, right? You just, it doesn't work that way. You have to consistently do the work. And then same with once you achieve that goal for yourself, you have to then consistently maintain it. This is, hello. <laughs> I love it. Hello, hope the day is beautiful. You better believe it, Emmett. It sure is. So you are the one, this is where it comes back to every time, you are the one with the power. You are the one that has the power in your hands because that power, it is inside you. But just like, again, the commitment to myself that I made was, well, one of them, again, I have a list. One of them is showing up consistently here on my videos, my live streams, showing up for you and showing up for me and showing up for all of us because I know this is my purpose. And in fact, yesterday after my live, I had so, like I wasn't even looking for the external validation because I'd already made the pact with myself, the promise with myself that I was doing this. So this was already anchored in to be happening, but the validation that came from outside of me because I'd already validated myself for me doing these lives was, it was, it just boosted me to that much more of a level that I was already on. I was already up there going, I'm doing this. This feels great. I'm a fuck yes for this space because this is my element and I love this and I need to not care, right? Just like we, none of us do. We need to not care so much about how it looks. Is it curated right? All these things, but to just show up in, in all of your authenticity and all that you've come to be in this world. We lead by example, and I know I'm definitely, definitely one of those, right? So, to further that quote though, results happen over time, not overnight. Consistency is a long game, right? Like again, we know that we can't just go to the gym and get ripped in one day. We gotta commit. And we, every day we have to renew that commitment and we have to consistently show up even on the days when you don't want to. Now, it's important that you learn to tap into your intuition and use discernment because there are days when, yes, your body is telling you to take a break in whatever it is, even when it's something that you know, because it's coaching. That's why I ended up kind of taking a step back a couple years into it because it got so draining. I was not properly taking care of myself. And so I had to take, actually had to take that time away. Now there's no excuse except for sabotage, except for my own self. And that's why it's like, no, I made the commitment to make these changes. And so every single day I have to show up to recommit and make sure that I'm showing up and I am maintaining consistency to ensure that I create the outcome that I committed to creating in the beginning. Because if I'm not going to be consistent, you can be sure. If you cannot be consistent and make yourself show up, meaning you have to parent yourself, Believe me, I've been wanting to watch videos and scroll. But having been a drug addict back in the day in my 20s, it, it is a drug. I recognize the withdrawals. I recognize the um, no pivot, pivot. We're gonna talk about all of this through these weeks. Like I said, how to practice to pivot, all these things. But for today, again, it's, it's creating consistency for yourself. It's recognizing that commitment and then Every day, every single day, reaffirming that commitment and making that 
a an awareness, a, a cultivation of consistency in your life. Because where you can begin to create consistency in one area of life, you bet your ass you can do it in other areas, which in turn puts that much more power in your hands so that you can create and do and fulfill and experience so many more things, right? It is true. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything. And if you can kind of crack your own freaking code for yourself, then guess what? You can finally really start to reparent yourself in the, in the manner that you do become more self-governed. You become more self-responsible. You become far more self-controlled, meaning you're less likely to make rash decisions with something that you would regret. You know, you're more inclined to tap into your intuition and check in with yourself really for sure, rather than let some ego addiction or distraction, you know, because believe me, I'm telling you, I want to just sit and zone out on some stupid videos. And I'm like, no, I'm getting so much done and I'm feeling so much better. I'm, my energy is so much more clear already. I'm telling y'all, just watch my videos and then go do a detox for like two or three days. I'm telling you, you know, just be mindful, really, ultimately, of what you're putting in because what you put in is what you get out. And it's so true. And, uh, you know, as I'd mentioned before, where I was years ago when I first started my business, started coaching. I did not watch things. I created all the time. I was constantly going live. I was always present and here for my audience and for my clients. And and then, yeah, this craziness of the world, things, everything. I had to go through my own major serious dark night of the soul for a minute and kind of hide behind a different kind of content for a minute. Now with, again, now it's just this whole, a whole new me for a whole new you for a whole new world. And that's exactly what we are supposed to be creating here. It's exactly what we're all here to create. But you, if you're not, again, focusing on you and making these commitments and being consistent in achieving the results, the outcome that you want, it's going to be a challenge. So. This you're going to want to write down. This you're going to want to write down. Put it on a sticky note. Put it on the mirror or something, okay? Instead of asking, how long will it take? Ask yourself, how far can I go? To keep your eye on the concept of consistency. I'm gonna say this entire little thing again. So like I said, write it down. Sticky note, pen. I'll give you a moment. It's not like it's not recorded or you won't be able to watch the replay here on on YouTube. Hey there. (laughs) Instead of asking, how long will it take? Ask yourself, how far can I go? Do you see, you see energetically, you see how that first one is like really constricting, really limiting. How long will it take? Or right, how long will it take? Like, oh my God, versus how far can I go? How far do you think I can, I can do this? You see, and that's expansive energy. We're going to talk about all these things, all these things over these next weeks, expansive, limiting energy, frequency scale, emotions, all this wonderful stuff, all this wonderful stuff. And then we're also going to play cards here once in a while. This one, what I really just want to do is for our consistency. Now, again, that the, the assignment really was, again, for... Because yesterday you're working on your commitments. Let's, let's, let's summarize really quick where we are. Day one with commitment, you're, you're making the commitments and you're, you're, you're clarifying your commitments, 
what you are committing to creating change, what the what the outcome is that you desire, what results you're seeking, what your vision is, what you want to be experiencing for your life. What are you committing to? And then with consistency, with cultivating consistency for yourself, you are then going to be able to achieve those results because you're creating a, a clarified plan here for showing up. What are basically, I, I'm hearing, you know, I'm hearing two to three things, depending on what it is your commitments are, what are two to three things that even usually you can probably just do one, you know, do a, tweak a couple things to work with that will impact several commitments. What are two to three things that you are incorporating in your day to align yourself with creating the results you want? What are you committing to in your in, in creating consistency for achieving the outcomes of your commitments. You see, that's a wonderful little word play there. Hold on. All right. So that's where you are. And today, again, just showing up for yourself. What do you got to do to be showing up for yourself with regards to those commitments? There you go. That's a way to break that down. What are your commitments? What are you committing to creating change around and results you're committing to creating for yourself, your vision? And then number two, what are you committing to in order to create those results? What consistent actions are you committing to also for fulfilling those commitments that you are changing in your life? All right. So with that, I'm wanting to draw us a card from my Power of Surrender deck that I love so much because consistency we i feel like this tends to be a place where the ego wants to have a lot of control and just so you know again we're going to talk about that too the ego is the aspect of ourselves that likes control i always hear control <laughs> what was it what is it uh friday or whatever anyway i digress um and so we end up wanting to, we end up being very judgmental. We end up criticizing ourselves a lot, going, oh my God, I have to do it every single day. No, like I said, this is consistent. There are days that have ends on them where there are no lives and I'm not doing them at all on Sundays. This is what consistency looks like, okay? It is still having some semblance of a reliable performance, reliable action that you are incorporating in some form of regular to align you with achieving the results that you desire. Okay. So that's why we're going to ask where our power of surrender is with all that with regards to yes, consistency. So with that, what, what, oh, well, You just, you can't make this shit, you cannot make this shit up. <laughs> this card just fell out of the deck. I'm going to show on each camera here. Surrender. Your attachment to results. You guys, oh, oh, magnetized to my magnet or to my mic. <laughs> you got, you guys, oh my gosh, goddesses, you can't. That's left me speechless, quite frankly. Surrender your attachment to results. So we're talking about the results that we want to achieve ultimately, right? That you're committed to creating for yourself, that you're committed to doing the work to create so that you can step into. But it's also recognizing that those results, they're still going to look different than what you visualize them as. So if you come at it from the perspective of it looks, it has to look exactly like this, just like with what consistency what it looks like on a piece of paper not necessarily every day but there's a a long-term plan of and, and that you're going to consistently show up maybe three days that week five days that week 
you know, whatever that looks like, you have a plan in place and that plan in and of itself is beholden of consistency. It's comprised of consistency, right? Of making sure you consistently show up in one way, shape or form to achieve those results. But simultaneously, what this card is telling us is again, you still have to allow for ebb and flow. You have to allow for the ebb and flow of the journey. Things are gonna happen. It is my commitment, my intention to go live every day at about at about 111. But definitely, let me tell y'all, two of my devices are like 109, and then the other two devices are like uh, 1259 kind of thing. And I'm like, wait a minute. But yet y'all are on networks. So make it make sense. But things, something may happen where maybe one day I am actually sick or I lose my voice. We don't know. We don't know. But you come at it with the intention. And we're going to talk about intention, obviously, in the coming weeks. But with the clarified commitment, promise to yourself that you're going to show up that you are not gonna be the one to yank that rug from beneath yourself. That this time you're keeping the promise, this time you're going to show up consistently, you're going to show up every moment that you possibly can be for yourself. You're going to be recommitting to yourself because you only have so much time on this earth. In case you didn't get the memo, time is gonna move on regardless. All right, so you focus on what you desire to be experiencing. You have to make the commitment to the ultimate result in terms of what do you desire to be experiencing in terms of what do you wanna be feeling? What do you want this experience for yourself to feel like? What do you want your life to be feeling like? That, that is what you focus on most. But all the details surrounding that like, yes, you know, you want certain things like you want your, you know, a house with a two car garage. That's perfectly fine. You want the certain bathtub in there, a kind of bathtub. That's great. But in terms of all the finite details and, and, and how it comes to pass, how it comes to be yours, that's where you have to be willing to let go of control, let go of how it exactly looks. Okay, you just focus on where your power is, which is in reaffirming that commitment, clarifying your commitments, and of course, showing up consistently for yourself so that you actually do achieve results rather than it being yet something else that you broke the promise to yourself to, that you didn't experience the outcome that you wanted because you didn't create the consistency to keep showing up for yourself. You didn't continue to consistently reaffirm your commitment to the life that you deserve. Because you do. And I'm here to remind you. Along with my favorite other little thing to remind you. Although, hold on before I do. Let me just point out that if you want something that is going to allow you to create some form of consistency, like a daily checklist that you have for yourself, that I have you covered. It's a self-love empowerment checklist. It's a single page, it's a download. You can print it a bazillion times, however many times you want. It's at my website, empowermentexperiences.com slash shop. And it's, it's really simple but it's profoundly powerful. And that's the objective. That if you can take just 20 minutes to cultivate consistency, if, if your commitment to yourself is to really be getting to know yourself, getting to understand who you are, what you're about, and, and really being in touch with yourself and creating consistent changes and thereby consistent results that are more in alignment with what you want, maybe not the specific results, right? Don't be too attached to specifics. But this checklist is that amazing place to start. It is the place 
for you to have some bit of structure, take just, again, 20 minutes a day to fill out this little sheet, get some clarity, get your energy focused in, and start to really, truly, consistently show up for yourself and create the life that you, you deserve. So with that, again, it's at my website, empowermentexperiences.com slash shop. And with that, as I am here to do, I remind you, because it's true, the power is in your hands. It is in your hands. Because that power, it has always, always, always been inside you. Namaste.